This is the second time around with my throttle actuator faulting. So I replaced the uh, gears with the odometer gears and looked like all was well, but after about a thousand miles, it faulted out again. And so now I've decided we're gonna take it apart and see. But I got a couple of them off eBay pretty cheap, so I wanted to take them apart and see what the differences might be. So I rebuilt my other one uh, with some parts, but you can see this was my original board and it doesn't look bad. Nothing looked bad on the board. And this is one of the ones I got off eBay. So you can see it has the original gears in it and they're worn a little bit. The other one had, uh, it was from a 2005. And so it's geared worn pretty bad. Let's see if we can get it in the picture. Worn pretty bad. And uh, I was trying to see, because its board looked pretty good too. So I don't have any issues with that. Nothing smoked up. Everything still looks pretty good on the board, of course. That doesn't mean anything electronics-wise necessarily, but at least it's a good sign nothing was burnt. So I can't figure out why mine uh, faulted again. But I got the old motor out of mine, and I'll put it in in a minute. But the one that I know was bad that the eBay seller said uh, was bad, it was out of a 2005 M5. So I think it was one of the original ones. So I hooked it up to 12 volts and we're just gonna see what it sounds like. So I'm thinking that this is probably why in a lot of cases when we rebuild these and put new gears in, if we don't check this little motor, the motor may be the reason why he's overloading or full of carbon in the case of this one. I'll show you the carbon dust in a second I got out of it. But here's what they sound like if they're sounding like they're bad to me compared to the one that I put up over here on the bench. So here we go. So it doesn't sound very happy and that's just with 12 bolts being applied. And you can hear it. Okay, so we'll pause for a minute and I'll hook up the other one. Okay, so now we've swapped out here. This is out of my car. This is 2007 M6. And this is the motor that was starting to fault. It, uh, I thought I'd fixed it with the gears, but uh, the actuator was starting to fault out again. I could reset it and it would go fine. And then about a week later, the biggest thing I was seeing is when I let my voltage get low, when I went and put the car on a trickle charger, uh, it would fault out. But as long as the battery was up full and everything was good with the battery, uh, I wouldn't get the fault. So I was thinking maybe something's the matter with this motor that it, it needs more voltage to try to make it meet its ramp rates and its spring back and all these things. So here's my motor uh, to see if it sounds any different. So you can hear it's a whole lot quieter. This is the carbon that came out of my motor. And I haven't knocked the uh, carbon out of the, the uh, M5 the 2005 one, but we're going to knock it out here in a minute and then we'll put it back up on the bench and see if we improve that squealing noise or if it just truly is bad. But in either case, this may be something that we want to check as we're doing the gears. And the little motor is very easy to get out. You just have to take uh, the two screws that hold the little motor in. So I'll show you. There's two screws that hold it in right here and right there. And no amount of prying is going to get that little fella out of that hole because the back of the motor actually seats down into that pocket in the bottom. So the only way to get it out really is to take the two screws out and then get you a block of wood and a cloth, something to, to wrap it on. And then with the motor in there, just hit it as square as you can down like that. And you got to hit it pretty hard, hit it about three times, perfectly flat. And the little motor will fall right out of there. And so then you don't damage anything. You don't have to worry about prying up on it or anything like that. So we're going to knock the carbon out of the uh, 2005 M5 one. And we're going to see if we can make it sound a little bit better. Or if it truly is just toast. And that may have been the reason why mine was faulting on this one. Is because although it doesn't sound too bad. Compared to that M5 one. Maybe that's just enough to where they're starting to fail. 
Okay, so back up in the vise is the 2005 N5s. And we knocked some carbon out. Wasn't a whole lot in there. Didn't seem like I got as much out as I did on my own. So we're going to test him and see if it sounds any better. Nah, it doesn't sound any better. So, now we don't know what to do. Maybe the motor is just bad. I don't know. But there is a bearing in the back, and it sounds like that noise is coming from that little bearing. So we might try to put a little bit of grease on it. So we'll try that next and see if that makes a difference. Okay, so I got both motors sitting up here together. And I put two little dots on there because I think I figured out where this noise is coming from. I think the poor little motor is just dead. Or dying. Because if you look, I'll see if I can get it in the light. This is for the 07 M6 that's going out, but still was running so if you see those two little blue dots see if I can get them when I rotate the shafts the shaft rotates with the inner race of the bearing so the little blue dots stay lined up as it goes around in a circle so that's good right the bearing is doing its job so you can spin it fast and get them to outrun each other but it's pretty smooth but if we look at this one, the one that's making all the noise, when I rotate it, even slow, it, it has spots where it stops. So I would be willing to bet that the problem is, is that this bearing has gone out in the back. I mean, we might be able to do some greasing to it, something like that, but it's obvious that something is making it resist. But... Sounds like this little motor has probably seen better days. Okay, so I think we figured out why the motor can't keep up with what the car wants it to do because as they get older, they start running slower when they get worn out. So I got a strobe on this. This is the 2007 one, so this one's an almost going bad one. I don't know if this will pick up because the strobe's running, but there's a little blue dot on the gear. And you can see when I turn the power on, that little blue dot is running, it's running around 18 something, so about 1850 maybe on the strobe. So I'm going to leave this strobe running and uh, set my phone down and swap out the other one. And you'll see that it actually can't run as fast anymore. So let me set the phone down for a second. All right, so we're back. I heard the audio the whole time. So the strobe's running. We got a dot on our 05. I can see the dot. There it is. So when I run this one, watch the mo the gear goes slower because the gear's running backwards. I mean, the strobe's running faster than the gear. So this is why eventually The throttle actuator can't get there fast enough and it'll fall out. So I bet you that's why in a lot of cases when we change out the gears, if this little motor's going bad, it doesn't do any good because the motor is actually what's slowing everything down. Very interesting for me.